I'm a little bit like the dog that caught the bus at the minute. I have got a working Hackintosh, and I didn't expect to have one quite so conveniently. To be honest, I was doing this more as something to do. Uh, you know, I've used Macs before. Yeah, it's nice. It's you know, it's good if that's what you're using, but it's you know, it is what it is, you know, you like Mac or you don't. But now I have a pretty capable Hackintosh here. I was originally trying to build a completely different one because I thought it would be fun to have a tiny small form factor one I could keep on my desk. But the HP Micro, or ultra small form factor I was using was a no-go. Uh, too many boot fa flags just could not get it to get all the way through into the installer at all. So I yanked the SSD out of that, threw an 8 gig stick of RAM into this Think Center that I'd been given by uh, sort of associate colleague, something like that, you know, I don't know. I do work with him, he's a customer of the company I work with, it's, uh, it's a whole deal. But I had this handy. It is a 3.3 gigahertz i5, 2400 or something like that. It's not a bad machine at all. Uh, there's a GT210 in it, a stupid Pegatron card that you can probably hear right now in this video because it's it's got something wrong with it and the fans it's going 100% all the time. It's, it's fine, it doesn't seem to be an issue. But I read, you know, in the forums when I was working out which of the machines I had lying around would sort of be handiest to do this with, that they were pretty compatible. On the actual installation, it's no more than installing Noresh's Yosemite. There's no boot flags, anything. I used Transmac and Clover to boot, you know, as a bootloader. I haven't installed the FI yet, simply because, right, I have this whole Fallout-based naming scheme that started with you know, I need a new name for my router whenever I set it up, and I called it Vault 101 PA. And, uh, yeah, from there, my main rig at the minute, which looks like a pile of junk, with spinning fans for no apparent reason, you know, it just looks like a pile of computer components. Uh, it's called Overseer. So, yeah, this needs to go on to Sierra, simply so I can call it Sierra Madre. Um, yeah, beyond that, I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for. You know, I, I suppose I might get as far as a nice video card and use it for some video editing or something like that. I do want it for Quartz Composer because uh, you can do some fun stuff with it. The the only thing that didn't work out of the box, the USB works, the Ethernet works, the USB 3 works, uh, everything, everything's happy enough. The only thing that doesn't work is the audio and it can be solved by any number of really really cheap sound card things now i had one lying around because i did a lot of amazon reviews but they're useful to have anyway especially if you have a laptop as you're sort of you know running your system but you have an external screen you can use a usb hub one of these to connect to your speakers and whatever else you want and sort of make it a two or even single cable if you get one of those nice USB 3 docks you'll see them on eBay if you search laptop dock I can't remember the name of them off the top of my head but they're a general laptop dock they're X Enterprise there's thousands of them they're dirt cheap for what they are they'll give you everything you need to make your laptop pick up and go but have a full system around it you know in terms of display and everything else uh, yeah, but this one, it's a little TechNet one, I know it works. There are a few recommended in the, uh, yeah, what do you call the forums, you know, it wasn't Tony Mac, it was the other one. Uh, Hackintosh Zone, that was, that's what I based all my instructions off. Um, there'll be links in the description to them. But, the easiest way to tell if this is going to work with a Mac is just look for the ones that are designed to look like a Mac item. Look for the ones that, you know, they're meant to go with a MacBook. 
That's the easiest way to find one that will be compatible. Though I would say almost any cheapy USB one is. I tried a different sound card there, a sort of trampy 5.1 solution, and it worked fine as well. But, uh, yeah, I have a quad-core i5 for Hackintosh, made out of an M80 Think Center, and it supports, I think it will support 32 gigs of RAM. It happily supports 1600 megahertz RAM as well, which was pleasing. But it's got an SSD, you know, I mean, not, I don't really know what, what more to say. It's, it's a pretty nice machine to be using. It uh, just needs a use now. I mean, I'm sure there are great reasons to have a Hackintosh, and there are people that look at it like, oh yeah, the install's a lot of work and everything else. It's really not with this particular one. It just works. I will uh, do a follow-up with Sierra and see if it was hard to upgrade to. Uh, but, to be honest, I don't see there being any issues, you know, from what I've read in forums, uh, you know, if you can get this working this easily, you're not going to have too many issues. I could be wrong, and I could be slating myself for a bad time. But, yeah, if you want something, I mean, I don't know, I know I know there's people like you use them for HTPCs, um, you know, home theater, yeah, this is perfect. Home theater, yeah, you know, that's an Americanism. I think we... Yeah, I don't know. Media center, maybe. Anyway. Yeah, this is no bigger than a sky box or, you know, any sort of cable or satellite box will be about this size. And it's front to back cooled, so you can jam it into a shelf tight. You can stack stuff on top of it. You can do all that. It's, it's not bad. And for people that like sort of uh, yeah, you know, I'm building their computer around fitting under my amplifier at the minute. But that form factor is great for stacking up in, you know, sort of all your hi-fi gear as well. So, yeah, all that. Uh, there's not much of a story to tell. Follow instructions, make flash drive, make work. It, it just does. The only thing you need is, uh, I've seen these as cheap as five quid. To be honest, you can probably find ones for a, for a pound if you're willing to go China-wise, but, you know, direct from China. But yeah, it just works. It does its thing and makes a lot of noise because that broken GT210. If you're looking for one, it's an M80.